Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode 10 in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So how do you delete an article with Rails 7 and Turbo? Uh, today we're going to take a look at 7.5, deleting an article. We're in this section in the Rails guide called Credit Where Credit is Due. And find it there we go where we're going through the the different create read update delete actions associated with the articles resource and we're now in this video up to deleting an article if you're just here for deleting we're gonna go through try to follow the rails guide as is um, I think it's going to run into some issues with the out-of-the-box defaults not using Rails UJS, UJS unobtrusive JavaScript and just using Turbo and we're going to try to work through some of those issues together so this is being recorded in December 28th 2021 it's quite possible that things by the time you're actually going through this guide will have been um, fixed up and clearer and easier to read and follow through on, but um, this is a point in time um, right after the release of Rails 7 um, going through this guide. So we're going to go, if you want to catch up, you can, this is video number 10 and videos number one through nine. We've gone through the other sections of this Rails guide, generating the application, um, going through and setting the uh, the root route as articles index kind of when it had hello world type boilerplate then we go through and we um, add in the article migration and model and then we start going through the different restful routes and actions that are available on the article resource so we've gone through so far index show new create edit, update, and the one we have remaining now is destroy. And so we're going to take a look at this. Um, delete takes the its article path with your article ID as a parameter, and it takes method delete rather than um, your method get, which would take you to the show articles path um, or the patch method with articles parameter ID that would take you to the update of your article. So now we're going to take a look at destroy. So we'll scroll down a little bit farther here. The um, destroy action fetches the article from the database, calls destroy on it, and then redirects the browser to the root path. The um, guide here notes that um, you can choose instead of the root path to redirect to the articles path and I'm going to do that here so the the right now the roots path and the root path and the articles path are identical the root of the app if we go to the config routes dot RB root to articles index and then resources articles so um, it won't make a difference in the functionality of our application today if we redirect whether we redirect to the root path or the articles path because right now there's they're the same path but if I were to continue developing this application the articles path wouldn't likely stay the root path. So I would want to make this redirect to the articles path so that in the event that I put it a home page or something like that as the root path, it's no longer taking you back to the application root path. It's taking you to the, um, the, the articles path where you'll get the index of articles, which I think is more intuitive of a, uh, of a choice there. Um, the, the other thing that we're doing, and you can see th this section of the um, of the guide is fairly short. Um, we're going to go into the articles show.html.erb, and we already have this link to edit 
edit article path here. And we're also going to want to add link to destroy and um, this right now method delete data confirm are you sure I believe will only work with rails UJS uh, and not work with turbo so we will uh, try try it as is first I'm gonna go the other thing that we've been doing through this series is trying to follow a test driven development approach so we've been as we've been going through and adding or modifying functionality in our application, we've been writing the failing test that tests the functionality first, then making sure that the, um, the test kind of passes and only passes with the code that is um, written to make it pass. And then if needed, we can refactor out some, uh, some stuff there. So, we're going to go in and at the bottom of this display errors before these private sections, we're going to add a test for um, should destroy article and we'll, I'll pause and write the code and then we'll take a look at it together. All right, so I've got my test here should destroy article. Uh, as noted in the earlier video, assert difference article dot count. Here we're doing assert difference article dot count minus one. So this method takes an optional second parameter that by, it, by default, it will be one that you have here. And then here we're uh, asserting that the article dot count goes down by one. We're going to delete the article path, taking article dot last here with the params um, ID being that article's ID. Um, we're going to assert that we're being directed to the articles path and then that the, uh, the flash notice is equal to article is successfully destroyed. The other thing that we're going to do is in the should get show test here, we're also going to do an assert select that, our, that there's a destroy here link. Um, so right now we're going to go in and run this. I should expect uh, a failure and an error right now when I run this. And that's what we get. So should destroy article, uh, action not found, destroy couldn't be found, and then uh, expected there to be a, um, a destroy uh, section, but there wasn't one, a destroy link, but there wasn't one in show. So we will go in first and go into our articles controller. We are going to take this destroy action Put it under update. So this should get us now from an and make this actually we'll, we'll we'll keep it in and then fix it to make the test pass. So we should be getting from an an error to a failure now. We should have two failures rather than a failure and an error if I run rerun the tests. You can see we're to to there, and it's expecting a um, redirect to example.com, and we are um, going to example.com slash articles. So we will go in, change that to articles path, which will now fail with the no notice. So we've got a nil notice, so we'll take control shift C. So now we should be down to one failure. And we are, the only thing we're missing is the destroy link. So we will go in 
and add as is right now the link destroy here to the show.html.erb run our tests and everything is working fine all of our tests are passing we will now go in and try to um, destroy an article so we'll go to articles here we'll it looks like we've got two of those hard-coded so earlier on in the guide we we hard-coded articles here and we've got duplicates here of stateless with code here so we've got this destroy link we should be able to destroy this um, we'll click on destroy and then we'll get a confirmation dialog that will come up and then we will um, choose yes on that and we'll be redirected back to the articles path and that didn't do anything so we can see here, started get articles five. Um, and then started get articles five. So the existing um, guide here and the uh, out of the box um, version of the um, uh, the destroy the articles controller with destroy is um, not uh, working as intended I click on destroy the article is still here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this has been up on my um, screen since about December 21st or so I'm going to reload this page and see if there's any updated information here in the guide I don't see any we'll go back rails guides getting started with rails I scroll down Deleting an article. It's still using method delete, and it's still talking about using unobtrusive JavaScript, which doesn't really exist by default when you use a new Rails 7 application. You can, if you're upgrading to Rails 7 from an existing app that uses Rails UJS, then you're fine. Um, it'll UJS will still work. But if you're just going in, we went in before at the beginning of this and um, did NVM deactivate so that to ensure that you don't and shouldn't need uh, Node as a true prerequisite of um, doing this in Rails 7. So we're going to dig a little bit farther into here. I'll pause and pull up a couple of places where we might find hints as to what we can do to resolve this. So we're going to take a look at the, um, the Rails main version of the getting started with rails guide um, there was a um, a pull request recently merged within the past two days that helped fix the um, some of the redirects and statuses and then um, provided some additional information about so data turbo method data turbo confirm instead of method delete and data confirm are you sure so that we go and look at the getting started guide version here in the markdown on github let's see we've got status 303 here and our um, some of the um, the 
looks like the, the link isn't um, quite working in um, the way it, you would want it to in Markdown here, but um, it's at least telling you that, that you're dealing with uh, Turbo rather than Rails UJS here in this. And if we look at the, I think the history, which one are you? History. So we've got Move code sample. Okay, so that's just the the invokes and stuff like that that are happening in the example there. And then two days ago is the um, the change to get that working. So we'll we'll see if that helps us. We'll um, go and change our and that's for comments, um, but it shouldn't. Yeah, it shouldn't matter there. So we'll go in and um, change that there. Now we haven't yet made the 303 change, but if we refresh this and try to destroy, now you can see there's localhost says, are you sure? We do okay. Oh, but uh, record not found in controls um, show with ID five. So, what is going on here? So we started delete, and then it's the articles path that we're doing delete on here. So um, started delete, we committed the delete, and then after we tried to do that, the redirect, uh, if we go show here, we can see we're getting not found here. And if we go to articles, we can see there's only one stateless with the hard-coded body code there, but that absence of the 303 in the controller is causing us to, and there's probably a symbol of that status. I'll pause and look that up real quick. Yeah, so 303 is C other if you're using the symbol version of that and we'll we'll try that and see if it works and if not well i'll put in the um the integer 303 but um typically the rails is a rack app this um symbol version of status codes is, is something that um is done by by rack and not rails itself rails is a um a framework that uses rack under the hood but we'll see now if that solves our destroy problem. And it looks like it does. So if we go and look at our server history now and see start delete article six, destroy is turbo stream. We commit redirected to localhost articles completed 303C other. And now it's doing a get on articles rather than a delete on articles, and we're not getting an error. We'll go in and make sure that our tests didn't break with any of those changes. They did not, but they were not entirely complete tests. So um, because JavaScript is being used here with Turbo, um, this might be a good candidate to try 
something like a Rails system test, which would be driven in a browser by something like Chrome driver or Firefox or something like that. Right now, we do not have a system test here, but if we wanted to, Take a look at configuring the Rails system test case. Hold on. So we've got application system test case here. I'm going to change Chrome to Firefox here because I, um, I'm i using Chromium here on Ubuntu and um, getting Chrome and installing Chrome and getting it working um, is a little bit more trouble than it's worth for this particular situation and then in system here we're going to create a new uh, test case so in here system we're going to create a new test case articles test.rb and then I will paste in uh, a code. We're only going to deal with the destroy action here if you wanted to, or if you had other interact JavaScript uh, interactions on your page that you wanted to test um, using a browser, you would add them in here. But the only thing we really care about so far that has been inter interactive and hasn't really worked without uh, with the normal articles controller test is this um, confirm here. So we're going to try to um, to do that. I'll pause in and we'll talk through the code. All right, so I've got this system test case here. Um, we're only dealing with destroy here. Um, setup article is articles nerd, so that comes from our fixtures. Articles dot yaml fixture here. So we've got two article fixtures, nerd and y, and we're going and we are um, taking visiting the uh, article URL for nerd. Uh, we're going to accept the confirm, click on destroy, and then um, this should go to the. Um, um, I might need to use follow redirect there. We'll find out. Uh, and then assert text articles, assert that the article title isn't there, that we destroyed, that the other article's title is there, and that the new article link is there. So we'll give that a try. And when we do this, we're going to do test system instead of normal Rails test. A Firefox profile could not be loaded. Let me try Chrome and see if that works. All right, so we'll try it again. So that also failed. I'm going to pause and see if I can get this running and then kind of talk through how I got it running. All right, so Firefox isn't working because of a profile error. Chromium isn't working. I'm just going to see if I can get um, Chrome to work. So I've downloaded uh, a .deb file for this. Just do the 
absolute path here. All right, so now I've got Let's see if that solves our test system problem. Well, this is an actual error. So I used a certain not text when it should be a certain no text. That should be easy enough to resolve. Uh, we've got our assertions, we've got no failures, no errors, no skips. Let me now undo the code and see if the, uh, the changes we did with the status code and everything and see if that makes this test fail, which it should. So we'll go in to articles controller and make that status part not work, or make that status 303 not there. And we can see we've got an error. Routing error no matches delete for articles. So this is matching what we saw in the um, in the browser when and in the server log when we were trying to do this. So we'll, we'll put this back incrementally. So we'll go there, go into our view. So get this back to method delete. We should get an error that there is no confirm to do. unable to find modal dialog. So we'll do redo our data turbo method, data turbo confirm, get back to our test here. We've got the failure, no ma route matches destroy for articles. And then we'll go in and redo the status see other we should be back to passing and we are and if we do rails test all you can see that we've now got 14 runs 73 assertions zero failures zero errors We've got a, um, a, an application system test case that's using Selenium to automate our test case. And if we, we can see, let me see if I can find, I'll pause for a second and pull it up. So this is a handy thing to know in the, um, this is our home directory of this blog. In When you're doing system integration tests with Selenium, if you go to temp here and screenshots, any failures you have will uh, give you a screenshot of what is being seen in that browser, which will help you with your, your troubleshooting and kind of getting uh, those uh, failing tests to, um, to, to try to trace down those failures and why they're failing and fix them. So now we have that uh, integration with Rails and Turbo in that uh, articles test there and we have we can have confidence that if we go in and accidentally break something that that system test case will now start failing so we'll um, take a look now at our status 
So we added the destroy action. The status see other is essential if you're doing um, your confirmation and destroying with turbo. Uh, and then our notice we added in, we're not displaying those notices yet. Um, we go in to the show view. Uh, actually that, that method delete shouldn't be there. Let me fix that. Go to show. So we only need the data turbo method there and the data turbo confirm. Rerun our test. We added the destroy link there to the controller test, the destroy test to the controller test, and then our new item there. We'll rerun Rails test all, make sure that that change didn't break anything and it did not. So we will commit what we've got. Add our commit message here. So we've got our commit message. We'll save it. Make sure all of our save files are saved. So that's good. And then we have a working directory clean. Push to the remote. And we'll see you in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.